Okay, today is me and Adam's dating anniversary, which is what we feel like is, I feel like is really near and dear to my heart because falling in love with him was the best decision of my life. Although, I feel like I had no choice in this matter. Anyway, yeah, so I always love this time. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Falling in love with you was the best decision I ever made, and then I was like, well, I feel like I delicious food. <laughs> oh my god, this is not easy. Okay, so that's, this is the, this is the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out. So we tried the air fryer and we did tofu and- And Brussels sprouts. Well, yeah, and the tofu didn't turn out amazing, but I, I'm still playing around with it. So I'm gonna play around and then I'll do like a recipe or some sort of tutorial <laughs> with it. But I- it doesn't look like cat food. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said cat food. That's what I said this time. Oh, and, and, and dog poop. and dog poop <laughs> after it was cooked. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm not gonna show you guys any kind of tutorial quite yet, but that will be coming. Let me know if there's any sort of like recipe, any kind of vegan thing that you want to see air fried, because I'm looking for recipes and ideas anyway. So I wanted to show you guys this thing. I, I got this originally for my mom, but accidentally sent it to my address. So then I got one and then she got one too. But it is a paint by number and it's the one that says life goals, keeping my pets and plants alive. And I'll show you how it looks on the inside. It's on this somewhat frame and has this little string so you can hang it up whenever you're done. It's really cute. It's really nice for like people who are creative, but also like a bit of direction. Cue the paint by numbers so you can see the little numbers. So yeah, I mean, that's basically like my mom. She likes to be creative, but she likes direction. So I thought she would really like it. Here are the paints that it comes with, which I actually really like these colors. They fit the aesthetic. They're like kind of natural. This olive green, this orange, like, it works. And it comes with these two brushes. These paint brushes, one little small one, tiny, tiny, tiny one, and then one that's like that flat. Anyway, so I'm assuming it's going to end up looking somewhat like this. It's a good little Mother's Day gift. Basically is my point in showing you guys this. I sent it to my mom early because I saw it and I couldn't wait and that's who I am, but also so I could show you guys like maybe an idea to get your mom. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new camera. Adam and I have been playing with settings and playing with, Adam's been playing with color grading like crazy. Yeah, we've been shooting some <laughs> shots around the house that have been kind of fun, so I'll uh, play that back right now. Roll the tapes. <laughs>
Fun, huh? Yeah, super just like random. It's still quarantine. One thing that I've noticed in quarantine is that everybody definitely has a, an opinion about what we are supposed to be doing and feeling during this time. And quite honestly, I feel like my emotions and my feelings around this time have, have very much varied. One day I feel very productive and inspired and the next day I feel anxious and alone. So, yeah, I don't think there's one way to feel or think through or experience this time. It's it's really crazy. <sighs> that being said, uh, one of the things that I've really enjoyed during this time is being able to create when creativity hits. So whenever I am inspired, I don't have really anything else stopping me from jumping at the bit. That's been nice. And one of the things that I've really been into is photography and writing. And I've always loved both, but for a long time have kind of put that on the shelf. And I've recently brought that back out and I'm really loving that. You can see like here on my Instagram, the different just like shots that I've been loving and all my captions. I just really love writing from the hat. The other thing is uh, Adam and I work together on putting together my website, which is laurendeleary.com see right here. Basically, you know, I don't really love the word blog, but that's essentially what it is. And one of my friends told me that blogs are now called lifestyle websites, but it's a little far-fetched for me. It's pretty much blog. So anyway, check it out. It's where you can read a lot of my ramblings. Eventually one day, fingers crossed, I'll have things on there like different merch and different things that you can purchase, different clothes, accessories, and maybe a book or an ebook. So anyway, that's one day in the future, but for now, you can check out my writing. You know, with that and with me getting back into photography, one thing that I've always loved and appreciated is lighting and bodies. I've always been intrigued by bodies and expressing through the human form. I've been able to express myself and taking pictures like this and this. And it's really fun for me because, you know, I, I, I've touched on it here on my channel, but you know, I grew up trained <laughs> in beauty culture. So that's been something that I've been working through mentally and on my podcast deconstruct, been working through some traumas that beauty culture kind of caused in my own life. And, you know, I still have friends and probably some family members that agree with a lot of the purity culture teachings, like, if you're not familiar, again, like you can go to our, my podcast, which I talk a lot about this. But basically purity culture is like saving yourself for marriage, but then on top of that, it's like modesty culture and like, you know, modest is hottest and wearing certain things and not wearing others. And anyway, I could go on. However, you know, when you express yourself freely and openly, everyone's gonna have an opinion. And I've been posting lots of things lately that could be seen as controversial, especially considering some of the following that I have conjured up through either my past Christian music industry life, um, and then also just like growing up in the Bible Belt. And so people have opinions, and I post about some political things like white privilege, which is real. Systemic racism is real. Again, this is not what this is about. But I post about that, and I also uh, talk about like liberating yourself and just my own journey. And I had a friend the other day text me, somebody who's really close to me and somebody who I considered a friend, obviously, like I said, and they just expressed their disapproval of my newfound liberation within my own body. <laughs> the thing is, although I am growing in self-love and deconstructing those toxic messages from purity culture and learning to let go of like all the opinions of other people, it still hurts receiving messages from people that I know because if it was just strangers, which I, I get those as well sometimes, very rare, but if I get messages from strangers about like how, like my body or like what I should or should not be wearing or posting, 
it's you can easily let that go but when it's somebody that you know it just hurts a little bit more she said so i have it pulled up um she sent me this long text but the one thing that stuck out to me was some photos you posted make me sick to my stomach because i ache for your voice to be heard without your feeling like you have to post a photo that draws attention so like i said at that point she was probably referring to posts like this and this yeah so she was bothered um she was bothered enough to unfollow me and send me a text explaining her disgust she did say she loved me somewhere in the text but honestly this just felt so not loving purity culture kills the mentality that bodies are inherently bad is toxic purity culture sees the body as a slave something that requires bondage to keep under control and like i said here's the thing i'm truly enjoying art and photography and writing during this quarantine i'm taking time to just be outside soak in the sunshine tan and it all feels magical to me and innocent and freeing and i genuinely mean what i post and what i write and it's just kind of sad like the juvenile phrasing of you're wanting attention it's just sad that that was said because believe me it's easier for me to hide away and follow the rules that purity culture teaches way easier for me to do that but i'm i'm pushing myself to allowing myself to post and be and accept and love in ways that my brain is kind of trained not to do. Getting attention is definitely uncomfortable for me. It's new and I'm learning to be okay with it and welcome it and love it. So her accusations were just like so far from the truth. And maybe she wishes my pictures were like in a museum. Maybe that would be easier for her and for others where she could just be a spectator. And maybe posts that accept bodies freely have an underlying subconscious or not have an underlying call to action. Maybe that's, that part is intimidating. I'm personally trying to live it out. It's more than words on a page and it's more than just a picture. It's not a painting in a museum hall. This is real life, this is my life. Maybe I'm subconsciously causing her and others who have been bothered by it. Maybe I'm subconsciously, or maybe they're subconsciously re-examining their life and their choices and their own feelings about their body. But I'm just, I'm just documenting what I see and what I feel in life and maybe that's maybe that's the rub i'm not a painting in a museum but a moment of time that you can feel and experience if i was to post a pic of me in a bikini like full-on bikini like top and bottom bikini and said getting my quarantine on or you know i was posting some sort of before picture of like workout and like you know i'm trying to work on my whatever nobody would have a problem nobody would care my pictures don't give a reason i don't explain or excuse or justify my body for simply being and it's time to liberate ourselves and free our bodies from bondage to recognize that we are not slaves to a book of rules that we are inherently free and whole we must not forget anyway so that was my rambling. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Maybe you resonate. Maybe you've experienced similar things in life. Maybe even during this quarantine. I hope you guys are happy and healthy and safe and your loved ones are happy, healthy, and safe. Sending all my love to you guys. Until next time. Bye.